In this video, I'm going to go over how to use Laser Gerbil, how to connect to your machine, and how to move your head around using the software. First thing we need to do is connect the machine to Laser Gerbil, and it connects through a COM port. Right now, it's COM28 on my machine. It might not be the same on yours. When I start mine up, it asks me if I want to get the latest version. I don't need the latest version. But right here, I have a ton of comms, right? And I could play the guessing game, select one, hit connect, select another one, hit connect. But if I were to unplug my machine, I'll show you this here. See how one went away? That would be the machine. <laughs> that would be the machine comms port. I'm going to plug this back in now. And the one that shows up is the COM port the machine's on. Okay, so I select that COM port. Unless you're using a really weird machine, keep your bot at 115200. That's what most of them run on. And I'm going to hit connect. I know it connected because it gave me this message. This message was generated from my machine itself. The controller board here, the Arduino, made this message right here, the one that says Gerbil 1.1F, okay? It also gave me another message that it's locked, okay? It wants me to do a, do a homing cycle on here, or I can just hit money sign X to unlock. My interface doesn't have a homing cycle, okay? So because this might be the first time you hook it up, your machine might not have a homing cycle, but if your machine does have a homing cycle, I'll show you what that is in just a second. What you can do here is unlock the machine, right? Caution, machine unlocked. I'm going to go into Gerbil here and go to Gerbil configuration. What that did is it read all the settings of my machine. Now, Laser Gerbil here knows the mins and max of everything, knows if I have a, a homing cycle or not, right? Money sign 22 right here, register 22. Homing cycle enable, one, which means yes, which means true. Okay, I'm going to close that, and now if you look at my interface, we have a homing cycle. Okay, so I'm going to turn the power to my machine on. Wait for it to power up. Okay, it's on. It's connected. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is even though I could move it around potentially, I'm going to run the homing cycle. That way I don't run into the sides, right? Run into edges. Hit that. My homing cycle's in the upper right. Your machine might not have a homing cycle. Your machine's homing cycle might be in a different area. But mine comes and touches these little sensors right here, these little switches. And then once it's done, it runs a tiny little piece of coding, right? And I can explain what this is in another video. But basically, after it's done homing, it goes to the lower left. That way, it's ready to start engraving for me. Okay? So what I did was I selected my COM port. I kept my bot at 115200. Chances are you'll do the same. And I hit connect. Okay? And I then I saw that it connected because it gave me this message. It's Gerbil 1.1 here. Now that it's connected... I ran the homing cycle. I didn't have the homing cycle, so I unlocked it. It cannot read configurations unless it's unlocked. So I hit the unlock here to unlock, pull it out of alarm state so it could read settings. Told it to read all the settings in there and then did a homing cycle. Now, I can hit this button, right? If I hit this button, what it actually sends is a money sign H, <laughs> register H. And so it gives a command, that command there. So if I were to go to my uh, my console here, type my G code here, I can type in, you know, money sign H, hit enter, and it's going to run that homing cycle again. So if I didn't have this button, if I was using different software, I can type in to the console money sign H, and it's going to run the homing cycle just like that. Okay. Now that the homing cycle's ran, now I can move it around manually. Okay, This slider 
says how much it's going to move around. Okay. This slider says how fast it's going to move. Okay. So if I want to move over 50 millimeters, everything's in millimeters in this program. So I'm going to move over 50 millimeters, and I'm going to do it at 5,000, well, 4,905 millimeters a minute. And I tell it to move to the right. You'll see the head move to the right at that speed, right? Okay, let's say I want it to go faster at 12,000. All right, I'm going to max it out here. This machine maxes out at 20,000. I can't even get to speed, I don't think, at that. Maybe that's up to speed. Let's have it go a little further. There we go. That's 8 inches, or, you know, 200 millimeters, pretty fast. Now, because I have my machine set up correctly, if I were try to go beyond my capacity, it's going to give me an error message here. You see this? I told it to jog from its position, negative 100, at a speed of 20,000 millimeters a minute. And it gave me an error message. It says travel exceeded. So it actually won't let me go beyond my my scope here, my my work area. So no matter what I hit, it's just going to stay in there. Okay. So now that I'm at this point, I'm connected, right? Got my comm set up at the bod. Hit connect. I'm going to scroll this back up. I got this message up here. Maybe I won't scroll this back up. <laughs> But I got that message up there. And I can move it around. So this is the first video. Hopefully you guys get it connected. And I'll go over how to actually laser this. Laser things in other videos. Thank you.